Hey guys, it's Steve here from the Checkpoint. It's the 30th of April. It's a Thursday, and Thursdays mean talk zone. So it's only me here today. Hello. I'm now broadcasting to you through the power of the internet. And I'm just going to talk about some stuff. So it is the last day of the month, the last day of April. And April has been quite a, um, it's been a quiet month for us. Um, you know, there have been gaps between uploads, the, the uploads have been sparse. But every channel goes through this. Every channel has their little downs and ups and downs. And, you know, we're just going through one of those quiet phases right now. But rest assured, we are going to be uh, bringing it back, all guns blazing, uh, pretty soon. So, um, yeah, April has been has been okay for us we've debuted a couple of new series including the talk zone um indie vision uh tips of the tube i'm gonna work on getting that up it's just it's one of those videos where it's like you have to feel like it you have to feel like helping people <laughs> to do it but um yeah that'll be coming back very soon i'm sorry it's been such a while since that's been up but i think i'm gonna look at audio uh, tips next and uh, yeah, obviously there's the continuation of RuneScape and things on the channel. And uh, yeah, you know, this this month's been quite sparse in uploads and it hasn't really been either of our faults. Well, I guess it is. I guess there's no one else to blame. In fact, there's, to be honest, there's no one to blame for the sparsity of uploads, considering how me and Kieran are at very uh, important times in our lives with the whole uh, university thing on the way and, uh, and stuff like that. It's understandable that you know, the checkpoint hasn't been the pinnacle of our focus. It's not going to be like the most at the very top of the to-do list, but you know, it's up there. And uh, here I am getting the fifth episode of the talk zone done. Um, yeah, the talk zone's been doing... The thing is, like, with the talk zone, it's, it's not a series where I'll look in and say, ooh, I wonder how the talk zone's doing. It's literally just a way to fill you guys in on some stuff like i don't um i don't feel i should be looking at it constantly saying oh damn it you know the talk zone hasn't got this many views this week because it's literally for the people who want to watch it um there's no there's no like way i'd possibly be like uh the talk zone isn't reaching like the milestones i thought it would I'm going to take it down because it's reaching the milestones of me being able to upload it. It's not a series where I want it to get millions of views. I just want it there. It's just a little break between, you know, guides and commentaries and other gaming related stuff. It's just a little break where I can put some chilled out music on, have a little relax and just do a little commentary for you guys, which I think with the changing uh, shape of YouTube with all the vloggers and all the pranksters and all all these type of things there's been quite a a sparsity in in gaming commentaries or just commentaries in general so i think it's good to bring it back a bit with the talk zone just have a little chilled out commentary and uh, yeah that's my thought process behind that in terms of stuff that's happened recently um the only real things i can think of are black ops 3 and age of ultron so uh which one should we talk about first let's talk about age of ultron first because i think you've been you you know, having subscribed, hopefully, to our channel, um, you have an interest in gaming channels, I presume, that uh, you'll have been spammed with Black Ops 3 stuff. So let's talk about Age of Ultron first. So Age of Ultron, uh, if, if you don't know, is the second Avengers film in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, by the way. I'm a huge Marvel fan, and I love the Avengers. I love all the solo movies. Um, maybe not Thor 2. That was a bit... A bit, it was it was a bit underwhelming, and uh, so was Iron Man three, and Iron Man two. But um, aside from that, I thought Avengers Avengers two Age of Ultron was very good. Um, I really enjoyed the character dynamics in this one. It really felt like the Avengers were at the heart of it all, especially especially uh, Hawkeye. It was good to see uh, some backstory into that. I'm trying to keep this. Uh, without spoilers because I don't want to spoil it for people who haven't seen it. I, know, I think it comes out tomorrow in America, but here in the UK it's um, it's already been released. Uh, so yeah, Age of Ultron is a good film. You will not be disappointed if you enjoyed the first one. At the start I was like, eh, is this better than the first Avengers? Then by the end I was persuaded. So, you know, you'll enjoy it. Ultron's great. They're all great. Everything is great. Um, 
a very, very good installment in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. I really should see more movies because that is like the first film I've seen in the cinema like since last, I want to say the end of last year. And I've just not been keeping up with movies recently. There's just not much stuff that interests me until, unless I'm fully like enveloped in it like I am with uh, Marvel. Um, but that's besides the point. Avengers is very good. Go see it if it's out in your country already. Go see it. Have a good time. Bring some friends. Eat some popcorn. It's all good. So, Black Ops 3. I, I'm sure we should get round to this because it is pretty important rather uh, whether or not you're a Call of Duty fan or not. It is the biggest franchise in the world um, in terms of gaming. Um, I must say that Black Ops 3... At the start, it had me divided. Um, you know, the future setting. I know people babble on about, oh, no, it's set in the future. I wish it was World War II and all that. Um, the thing is, like, we've had a futuristic game for the past... Let's see, Advanced Warfare goes, Black Ops 2. Um, for the past, I want to say, three or four years, it's been some sort of future shooter with futuristic elements. Uh, although Ghost wasn't really um, a future game, it was... It was kind of, it was in the future, but it wasn't really, it didn't make use of all the future technology. Um, but then again, I did skip Ghost because it apparently just wasn't very good. And also the thing with Ghost, normally when you play a Call of Duty game for the first time, you're instantly in love with it and think it's the best one ever. And then after a couple of weeks, you're like, eh. But I played Ghost once at a friend's house and, oh man, it was bad. That game is a bad game. But yeah, Black Ops 3, set in the future. I was kind of like, eh, on that. And then I saw the wall running and the new movement mechanics. And those have also left people divided because people didn't like the exosuits from Advanced Warfare. Now, I'm indifferent with the exosuits. My main criticism of, um, of it being in Black Ops 3, which I think it's, it's a modified version where if you jump, you don't jump as fast. It's kind of like a slow hover. But my main criticism of it being in Black Ops 3 is that we had it in the previous game. If they gave it a two year gap, then I would have been fine with it. But, you know, having having the exosuits, well, a modified version of the exosuits a year after the uh, origin of the exosuits in Advanced Warfare, it's kind of like, you know, it kind of feels like an overload of all these crazy fast movements. And you don't want it to be too chaotic. Because I think the developers are kind of, they're kind of miss they're kind of confused on what fans want. I know people say, uh, you know, this Call of Duty is too slow, but that doesn't mean you should replace it with, like, really chaotic gameplay, because I'd rather have the game be slow and tactical and, you know, of an average pace, rather than, you know, people zipping around everywhere and messing up spawns and stuff like that. I don't know. That's just my thought process. I'm very happy that Zombies is back. Very happy that it's got a co-op campaign, that, that, that Gore is back. That all of these things are back. Because um, Treyarch are definitely definitely my favourite Call of Duty developer, much much rather than uh, Sledgehammer and Infinity Ward. Anyway, although I can't really comment on Sledgehammer since they've only released one game, that would be unfair. But Black Ops One is probably my favourite Call of Duty game of all time, followed by Black Ops Two, followed by COD Four. So you know, it's uh, easy to see why I prefer uh, Treyarch over the other developers. But yeah, um, aside from that, um, nothing much has really been going on. It's kind of been quite a slow burner um, these past couple of weeks because I've been focusing so much on exams and stuff like that. Um, but rest assured, I should be having some new content out soon. I'm going to try and get the latest episode of Indivision up by Friday. Maybe it might be up. Uh, it might be up on Friday. It might be up on Saturday. I want to get it up on Friday, but there's no promising that. Um, what else? I want to bring out some Black Ops 3 news and speculation and stuff like that because prior to the checkpoint I had a, a solo channel and I was very heavily invested in uh, Call of Duty news, um, you know, stuff like that, news and different um, gaming events and situations that the audience might have been uh, interested in and I've kind of slipped away with that with the checkpoint. I've kind of been more into, um, you know, games that are specifically news oriented. I haven't really been focusing on 
news videos have been more topical or guides or helpful videos or just updates like this so i want to get back into the old um the news front because i am going to be doing journalism at university so you know it's going to be helpful to at least breach uh, the uh news the news uh, sector uh through my videos um I want to do some Black Ops 3 news and speculation videos because it was a really good time for me when I did that in a uh, in Black Ops 2. Actually, I, the last time I did that was with Black Ops 2. I did some uh, um, news videos and speculation videos because it really helps your channel grow and it really helps assemble an audience from a different game, such as Call of Duty. And I know not a lot of you may be interested in Call of Duty because we do have a big uh, RuneScape fan base and a big uh, Destiny fan base, but I think. Um, It'd be good to reintroduce some other games into the channel, albeit it is Call of Duty, it is the most popular game franchise possibly of all time, probably of all time, and um, you might feel overloaded on it, you might not care, that's up to you, just don't watch the videos. Um, we have uploaded Call of Duty videos in the past, um, can't say they've done so well, but you know it's still good to breach out into different audiences and get more of a variety on the channel, because that's what I want. Uh, more than anything, I don't want it, us to be the checkpoint, the RuneScape channel, or the checkpoint, the guide channel. I want us to be the checkpoint, the gaming channel that, you know, is broad in its uh, selection of videos and uh, that you can come to and say, you know what, I wonder what game they're focusing on today because I want to have a variety of them. Um, so this has been a pretty short episode of the Talk Zone, um, primarily because there's nothing much to talk about been kind of lazy recently but you know aside from that uh, i hope you enjoyed the video if you did leave it a like subscribe if you've not done so already and i will talk to you soon